the 675 LT and despite me sitting in standstill traffic right now, today is a big day because we're taking the LT on its very first track day. I've had it on a drag race and I've taken it around uh, the sort of outfield of an RAF base, which was track-ish, but there's nothing like taking a car on its first track day. And we're going to Silverstone, no less, the international circuit as well. Um, yeah, and I'm just super pumped to find out what this thing is like under some proper heavy dynamic driving conditions. We've got sticky Trofeo R tires on. Also, the air is cool. We are in the sort of later stages of October in the UK. And of course, turbo cars thrive off cool air. Uh, so yeah, I'm just super pumped to really get this thing on track. Uh, and actually even more pumped to get out of this traffic, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. I got up super early to be there on time. And as a result of this traffic, I'm already half an hour late. On top of that, uh, my fuel range is extremely low. And uh, yeah, this thing in traffic, it just drinks fuel with two straws. It, it's so bad. <laughs> so this stop-start driving isn't great, but if we make it to Silverstone without running out of fuel first, it is gonna be awesome. Yes, we are here. We have arrived at Silverstone Circuit. I've got my pit here, I've got my pit garage, 11A. And today I'm joined by pro racing driver, Ollie Webb, who's gonna show me the ropes again around Silverstone. Today is gonna be fantastic. We weren't sure how the weather was gonna turn out in the middle of October in England, but fantastically, look, it's pr promising. We've got some sunshine trying to break through here. Importantly for the turbos on the LT, it is nice and cold and we've got some fresh sticky tires and I just can't wait to get out in this thing. And of course, we're gonna take a look around the pits because on days like these, there's always some really tasty equipment around about. So without further ado, let's hop in the car, do this. So I'll just warm everything up, have a look around the track, do a couple yeah, of laps, get used to it. So here, yeah. start of the curb, yeah. you'll already start to turn in. Okay. You want to treat between these two as almost a straight line and then once you're at the curve, turn in. Don't worry about preparing for this corner. Okay. Right on the inside, hug it into the middle. Don't turn in too early, now turn in. Where that cone is is your apex, yeah. all the way out to the left. And then we're really smooth with the wheel, we're letting it go where it wants to go, all the way out. Okay, so we've dropped tire pressure, so that's why it's making like a really weird, annoying noise right now, but normally the tires are at 30 PSI, and 
percent because they're getting so hot and expanding we've dropped them to 25 psi which is i'm gonna put my gloves on oh, yeah dropping them to 25 psi which is why the car's making a really annoying noise like a nuclear bomb's about to drop oh stop now all good i'm gonna try and try my best to convey to you what it's all about you might not be able to hear a word i'm saying but let's give it a go anyway so where do we start well as mentioned earlier on, we're on the cold deflated tires at this stage. So it's a little bit understeery until a few laps time when we're gonna get it warmed up. But my God, today has been nothing short of eye-opening, mind-boggling, grin-inducing. It's just such a special piece of kit. I gotta say that the power that this thing has, it's just such an incredible buzz to be up the tail of a full-blown, I mean, I've been chasing a Lamborghini Super Trofeo. And right now, I'm tailing another McLaren 675LT Spider. We're just blasting past everything. Wow. Yeah, this is cool, boys and girls. My neck muscles start to ache because it's got so much grip. I love it. I love feeling the tires get up to temperature and they're just working, you know? All oh, right, we're on cam now. Come out of here. Let's pop some bangs on the upshift even. That's pretty cool. Oh, what? It's just rapid, this thing. 160 miles an hour before breaking point. And God, you anchor on. You anchor on substantially hard. <laughs> Definitely gonna need a new set of tires after this. Working, which is amazing. So I wouldn't consider it like an aero car, but by God, it doesn't all stick to the floor. It's just, yeah, sorry I just shut up then. It was just such a good run. I just zoned out. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Last time I was on track was in the GT3. Don't get me wrong, great track day car, but it does feel like road car that's good on track this feels more like it feels more of a track I'm still coming over it it's, the power of this is absolutely savage like there's one thing it, I can experience a bit of it on the road but when oh seriously I'm still coming down from that more laps okay it is lunchtime we have to take a break at some point as much as it pains me the LT right now is absolutely blowing my mind there's something else that we have to do while we're at the circuit and that is the obligatory track walk and the first thing that's caught my eye so far is this original mp4 12c me being a mclaren owner over the last four or five months i'm intrigued now by all things woking and this one here is a really interesting example because it may look like a standard 12c at first but inside I'm sure if i can show you there yeah they are p1 seats <laughs> i assume i'm assuming that, that is a retrofit option um but yeah check it out a, a stunning original mp4 12c and the legend that is the owner has gone and stuck in p1 seats so so much so that he's even had it embroidered on the top of the headrest there even more amazing not sure if you notice on the top right hand side of the sat nav screen that little sticker there is still the pull tag to the film that covers the whole of that screen so he's managed to maintain 
the sticky plastic that protects the screen. That is really cool. So I'd love to meet this guy. He, judging by his car, he's an interesting man. P1 seats, standard original 12C, and he still kept the wrapper on his screen. What a dude. But enough of 12Cs, let's go check out what else is in here. We've got 10 or 15 garages packed full of cars. Let's hit it. All right, so it's not every day that you get three 675 LTs together, but it's even more rare that every single one of them is of a different variety. First up is mine, which is the 675 LT Coupe. Next one down the line here, 675 LT Spider. And next door to this is an MSO Special Carbon Edition Spider, which I believe has been picked up about half an hour ago. The guy that owns the new 675 LT. Uh, I was just talking to him about how it handles on track and I asked him how many miles have you done in, in this car so far? He said, I've just collected it this afternoon. <laughs> so he's brought it from the dealership to the track and he's done more miles on track so far than he has driving here. What a baller. So uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure to witness all of these fantastic cars here. The idea was that we were gonna get all three of these cars on track at the same time to have some great videos and great pictures. Unfortunately, as you can see by the pit lane right now, um, someone binned it earlier. Uh, I believe a GT4 crashed into a caterer. Unfortunately, everyone's okay. Uh, yeah, but they've locked the track. See there? Red lights basically means no one's allowed out on track, so everyone's queuing. Um, and yeah, track closes uh, shortly. So we lined up the LTs for a photo shoot there, which is looking nice. Nice thumbnail. Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if we're gonna have quite enough time uh, to get them all out on track. But no, so the time that I did get to spend on track with the LT has been absolutely mind blowing. Front end turning on this thing is unreal. When these tires get up to temperature, it affects your neck muscles. The, the, the Jesus thing pulls. It's so satisfying. But unfortunately, quite a few times today, there's been crashes on the track, there's been a few oil spills, and as a result, half of the day, I didn't get to drive the car as much as I normally would on a track day. Still, I got a flavor for it, uh, and it's only left me wanting more. It's, from start to finish, it, it doesn't, it seems, it doesn't matter what I do with this thing, it, it blows me away every single time, on the road, on a drag race, on track, it's just a phenomenal thing. I'm trying to pick fault with this car. I'm gonna, the next time that I drive it, I'm gonna try and sort of consciously pick faults that I don't like. And if I can, if there is enough things that I don't like about this car, who knows, maybe I could make a sort of, you know, X amount of things that I don't like about the LT because it might be getting tiring, me not saying anything bad about this car, but it's that good. It's really, it's They've done some great things here. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been quick and fast, but I just want to share it with you and hopefully you like it as much as I did. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Ciao.